The new diversion program will take low-level offenses such as prostitution or theft, some of those peripheral crimes we're finding from addiction, and instead of getting that person into jail, can we connect them to treatment? We have quick response teams, police, fire, and addiction specialists going out and trying to connect people into treatment after an overdose. We also have uh, harm reduction such as needle exchanges. We have 65 companies that we work with that will hire people. If they have an issue where they relapse, as long as they get back into treatment, those jobs will be held. If the entire community is working on this issue, it would be less likely for us to fail because one part would be able to catch where the other wouldn't. What we know from harm reduction is that it's an evidence-based intervention that has been scientifically proven to promote positive public health outcomes, protect public safety, and prevent injuries, not just to public safety and public health officials, but to the community as well. When there's a syringe access program that's available in the community, more drug users enter uh, drug treatment voluntarily. Naloxone saves lives. It needs to be in the hands of every drug user, every friend, every family, at public libraries, at schools, across the country, because you never know when you can save a life. An overdose prevention center is a place where individuals can go and receive medical supervision from professionals when they are consuming drugs. It's been rigorously studied uh, by peer review scientific journals and has demonstrated that not once has anybody died of an overdose who's used their services. It has reduced HIV incidence. We're also seeing significant reduction in the use of resources. Whenever anybody suffers from an overdose, we have to call 911. People resort to using emergency room services. It's actually gotten people more engaged in treatment than they otherwise would have been.